Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of which be taken as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all it is just general in nature only. Bank earnings season is here and May the 4th be with you because May the 4th is when it started and it's going to be a very interesting period because the RBA, as we've discussed before, has now raised rates for the first time in almost 12 years. And it's the first time that 1.2 million homeowners across the country have ever experienced a rate rise. So it will be very interesting bank earnings season as we go through. ANZ, let's have a look at what they actually told us to start bank earnings season for the first half of FY22. 3.11 cash earnings for ANZ, that is about 4% above expectations from a consensus. Some were a little bit higher than that, but in the main, that's a little bit of a beat. It's also beat their own expectations of 4% growth year on year. If you look at the statutory number, I think you'll get confused because it will tell you 20% jump. And the reason I say that is that because part of the reason they've done so well is an unwinding of the positionings that they've been doing leading into the pandemic and how they've dealt with it. Bad and doubtful debts are down, which is great, and that's a very good thing to see, but it's because they were probably a little bit overly strong in the provisioning to start with. Overall operations are okay. If you have a look at net interest margins, again, okay. They are showing signs that they're getting better and they're starting to grow their loan book, which is a good thing to see and something that ANZ has been slightly behind the eight ball in doing against the other three big competitors it has and also looking at the regional space that it's in it's getting a little bit better. It does have some pretty big rollovers in 2023 and 2024. The question around that is how much is that debt refinancing going to cost it with regards to interest rates now increasing? You also then look at where the bank sits at mid $27 a share. The question would be is today's numbers enough to give it a real premium or a jump up towards the premium that NAB and something like CBA gets rather than its probably current competitor, which is Westpac. That will be digested over the current months. But overall, this is a fairly decent result from ANZ considering where they were and the kinds of quarterly updates that we had. So good start for bank earnings season from ANZ. Let's see what the other three give us over the next week.